Uh, grass. Are the animal grass eh? grasses? Look at this. Eh? Swallow through the mouth, passing through the bullet or so far goes. The the, 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 the the food or fish will, will be landed at the adult, the Roman. In in that uh, partial form. The food that will be stored here are partially chewed. Is that clear? Yes. They are partially chewed. And that's the reason why when you slaughter animals, these animals, you will be likely to see the green uh, vegetation there, green grasses, because the feet are not properly chewed. Despite they are partially chewed and be stored here. This is the first tomato, but as the biggest. If you look, if you look at it, we have, we have actually uh, uh, removed all the contents. The fire is the biggest chamber. Look at it. Yes. It's the biggest chamber. So, when the food lives here, the animal will continue continuously eating the feet until this side is filled. Look at it. Until it is filled to the brim. When it is filled to the brim, that, that means that the animal is satisfied. If then you see the animals sitting down on a cool air uh, place. Under the shade of a tree. Are we listening? Under the shade of a tree, you see the animal lying down quietly. And you, it's there you see the animal looking at uh, his mouth, going up and down. Eh? So, what is the animal doing? The animal is uh, what? Regurgitating. Look at it. It's regurgitating. It's chewing the cord. The animal is bringing the food, the food that has been taken. Previously, here in the room, back to his mouth. That was called regurgitation. Look at this. That was called chewing the cord. That was called rumination. Are we listening? So that is it's from the room. They are now regurgitating the feed back to the mouth. Rechewed. The feed will be rechewed. Look at this. And then re swallow. They continuously do this until. The animal exhausts all the fish in, the, in this uh, organ. Look at it. So, when he recute and he swallow, then the fish goes to the next uh, stomach chamber called uh, reticulum. Look at it. The stomach chamber called reticulum. This is the reticulum. This is reticulum. It's the nest, next to rumen. It's next to rumen. You can see. This is reticulum. And if you look at the size, it's the next to the rumen in terms of the size. So the feet taken by the ruminant after it has been rechewed and re swallowed, it moves straight to the rumen. Here is it. I mean, reticulum, sorry to say. It moves straight to the reticulum. So in the reticulum, the feet has not been properly digested. Are you listening? It has not been properly digested, so the digestion still continues. So in the reticulum, the digestion still continues. Then, later, it moves to the omasum. It moves to the what? Omasum. That is the third uh, stomach chamber. The omasum. So, the digestion still continues in the omasum until it gets to the, the last uh, stomach chamber, which is the which is what? Abomasum. Abomasum. That is the, the fourth chamber. Is that clear? The fourth chamber. And it's the last, last stomach chamber. The abomasum. is the last stomach uh, chamber. Look at it. So this abomasum, it, it resembles that of uh, monogastric animals. Abomasum resembles that of uh, monogastric animals. Animals. That is the true stomach. It's also called glandular stomach. The abomaso is also called glandular stomach. So, after the feet has uh, left the abomaso, it's moved to the, the small intestine. The feet moves to the small intestine. These are the small intestine. These are the small intestine. The feet taken by the animals move to the small intestine. 
And what happened in the small intestine? The digestion actually takes place. Isn't it? In the small intestine. That is the organ where digestion actually takes place in uh, mammals. Look at this. And the uh, digestive food, digestive food will be absorbed, will be taken by the organ called uh, filling. Uh, by the organ called what? Filling. Yeah, the filling. So this is the organ where the digestive material will be stored before it be carried along to all parts of the body through through what through the blood isn't it uh, yes the digestive material will be, will be, will be stored here then it will later be moved from your the body system of farm animals through the blood is that clear yes. so after the digestion has taken place the usable and the absorbable part of the feeds have been taken care of in the body of farm animals have been absorbed by the body of farm animals. Then the undigested, the waste materials from the feeds that are no longer useful for the animals will be passing, will be passed to the what? Will be passed to the large intestine. Is that clear? It will be passed to the large intestine. You can see it is more bigger. Bigger than the, the than the small intestine. This is the large intestine, and that is the the the, the, the organ where the undigested feed materials will be stored. Look at it. It will be stored here. Then it, it will later be sent out. It will be sent out through what? Through the anus. Is that clear? Yes. It will be sent out through the anus. So any feed materials that is. Uh, and that have been passed to the large intestine, it means that they are waste. They can be regarded as waste, which has to be removed from the body. Until it is removed, then the animal will not be comfortable. Even a human being, if it has reached that's rich the large intestine, the, you will not be comfortable until it is expelled out. Yes. Is that clear? Yes. So that is the, the digestive system of uh, ruminant uh, animals. Now, have a look at the digestive system of the ruminant animals, then let us also look at some of the organs, some of the organs of these uh, animals. Among the organs that can be found in the ruminants, in particular, is this. This is this stuff. This is what's called a trachea. Hope you are, you are following me. Yes, this is what's called trachea. And this is the organ from where the, the, the oxygen, your breathing, passes through. Here, you can be found in all mammals. Look at it. This is the organ, the oxygen you breathe in. This is the organ where it passes through. Yeah? And reaches the, the lung. This is the lung. Yes. As it can be seen here, it can also be found in human beings. This is the lung. So as the oxygen is taken through the trachea, moves to the lungs. What happened to the lungs? Yeah? What happened to the lungs? The lungs will expand. Is that clear? Yes. The lung will expand. Look at it. Yes. So, that means if you breathe in, lung will expand. If you breathe out, it what? It constrict. It shrink. Yes. Is that clear? It will shrink. So, as it is shrink, meaning that the carbon dioxide has been taken out, has been released out. And that is a continuous uh, uh, phenomenon. You breathe in, you breathe out, you breathe in. So as the lungs expand, it's, con it's relaxed. As it expands, it's constrict. As it expands, it's constrict. Now that is a continuous uh, phenomenon with respect to uh, respiration of these uh, animals. Is that clear? So the organ, it can be, it can serve as a respiratory organ. It can also serve as what? As an excretory organ. 
Is that clear? It serves as a, a respiratory organ in the sense that you breathe in oxygen. Look at it. And reaches the lung before it is expelled. The carbon four oxide and the water vapor that you breathe in will be sent out as a waste of uh, excretion in respiration. Exactly. The carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, and the the wa uh, water vapor that you breathe in when you breathe. So the waste there will be sent out through your nose. Exactly. So that is the the physiology of this uh, organ. Then, very close to the lung, it, we have uh, the heart. The heart. This is the heart of uh, ruminants, as can be found in human beings and other mammals. Exactly. So, if you can see the heart, it is uh, reddish, a uh, dark reddish in color, and uh, it's also transparent. It's transparent at times like a, like a mirror. Look at it. it. Yes, that is the structure of this uh, organ. And the major function of the, of the lung is what? It's uh, blood uh, pumping. Isn't it? Yes. The major function of the, of the heart is to pump the blood. Is to pump the blood. That is just the major function performed by this organ called a uh, heart. Is to pump the blood, and when blood, when, when blood is being pumped continuously, this blood will be transported to various organ cells of the body of farm animals through what? Through the arteries and what? And veins. Through the arteries and the veins. Don't forget the uh, arteries carries what carries. Oxygenated blood. Isn't it? Why the veins carries what? The oxygenated blood. Is that clear? So that is the major function performed by the heart of uh, mammals. Is that clear? Then, below it, below the uh, heart, is uh, the liver. You look at the liver. You can see. It is dark red in color, and it's happen to be the largest uh, organ in, in the mammals. It happen to be the largest organ, the, the liver, and it's divided into lobes. When you, when you talk about lobes, you can see it is divided into lobes, eh, to sections. Look at it, section by section. Look at it. Look at the other one. It's a lobe divided into lobes. So that is a. Uh, the liver and it can be found here, the right side, the upper right side of the of the farm animals. Is that clear? Yes, that's where the, the liver can be found. Then how does it work? How does the liver work? Hmm? What are the functions of a liver? It regulates blood sugar. It regulates blood sugar. Yes, it regulates blood sugar. Look at it. So, in the liver, the glucose is stored in the liver. Are you listening? Yes. The glucose is stored in the liver. In form of what? In form of a glycogen. Isn't it? Yes. In form of a glycogen. And uh, what hits that uh, storage of that uh, glucose? What hits the storage of glucose in the liver? What is that? Uh, that uh, hormones that aided the storage of uh, uh, insulin. Yes, insulin is the hormone that aided the storage of uh, uh, glycogen in the liver. And that's the main reason why that glycogen in the storage here is what helps you that all other metabolic processes continues. Even if you have not taken anything, if you are fasting, say for example, you are fasting where you don't have uh, enough strength to do anything. Eh? And you can see, that's why you are fasting, you have not eaten anything since morning, you can see the metabolic processes continues. You breathe in, you breathe out. You do all other things. Eh? You understand? You do all that domestic works and some other things. You understand? So the metabolic processes continues. 
as a result of a release of this uh, glycogen that was stored by the liver. And that is what keep on giving you that small strength you have. That's why you have not eaten. Is that clear? So that is the, the role of a uh, liver. It also stores uh, vitamins. The liver stores vitamins. Look at it. So as it is, it is also, also detoxify poisonous substances. You understand what does what that mean? It detoxifies poisonous substances. All the excess, all, all the excess is the case of man. The excess maggi you are taking, this one will break it down. The excess sugar you are taking, it will break it down. The drugs, hard drugs, that is uh, not suitable for your body, you are taking, it will be breaking down by the liver. Look at it. The injection you are taking, that is not, not all that good for your body, eh? it will break it down by the liver. Is that clear? So that is the function performed by the liver. As it performs in, uh, in human beings, it also performs the same function in farm animals. Is that clear? Yes. So that is the function, and that is the reason why liver is very, very important. Anything that tamper with this, tamper with this, eh? so in fact, it is it's, it's very, very hardly redeemable. Look at it. So that is the reason why nothing should tamper with this. And that is the main reason why those who, who are addicted to drugs have been uh, enjoying to, to live that. Is that clear? Because everything works on the liver. And if the liver is damaged, then that's all. With this human being, the person is just counting the number of days. The number of days on earth. So it's a very, very important organ in farm animals as well as uh, in a human being. Is that clear? Now, let us look at the, the other one, and that is uh, okay. That is uh, the the two beans. What are the two beans? The kidneys. The kidneys. Yes, the kidneys. Very very important organ in farm animals, including human beings. The kidney. Exactly. So why is it uh, the two beans? It looks like a beans, the shape, it looks like a beans. It is dark red, somewhat dark red in color. Here, it also serves as an excretory organ. The kidney serves as an excretory organ. As you have told, told, told us, that uh, the liver, the liver is stored glucose. <coughs> eh? Look at it. The, 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 the liver doesn't store proteins. Look at it. It doesn't store proteins. So the excess of a protein taken if reach the kidney. The kidney will absorb it. We what? It will absorb and uh, it what? It will uh, break it down into urea and uh, uric acid. Look at it. The excess protein taken by animals, taken by human beings, will be broken down, will be metabolized to urea and uh, uric acid. These are the waste, they are harmful products in the uh, farm animals, including man. Is that clear? Yes. So it is this urea that is breaking down by the kidney will be sieved, will be sieved by what? By which organ? It will be sieved. The urea will be sieved by this organ, the kidney, by the aid of what? Glomerula, filtrate, or glomerula? Glomerulus. Glomerulus. Have you forgotten? No. Yes. It will be sieved by glomerulus. Look at it. And reabsorb, and reabsorption again. And the, the, the waste, the final waste of this urea will be sent to the to what? To the gold bladder. bladder. Isn't it? Yes. It will be sent to the gold bladder. As what? As urine. Isn't it? Yes. It will be sent to the gold bladder as a urine. So the gold bladder keep on loading, keep on loading, keep on receiving the, the urine. 
have been sent out from the kidney until the bladder is full to the brim. When the bladder has been fed to the brim, it is the time you become, you, you, are not, you are no longer to be comfortable again. You must visit the toilet. Just like animals must, must what? Must urinate. When that is when the bladder has fed to the brim. And when you have uh, released all the content in the bladder, then the process continues. Eh? The process continues. The bladder, bladder stays receiving more urine. This is more urine sent out by the glomerular pituit or from the kidney. Is that clear? So, and the bladder is filled up and then you release it. So, that is the, the major function of, uh, of the kidney. Is that clear? So these are the major organs that uh, we actually have for ourselves to be discussed. Now, this is the